our former chairman. He served the church and is on record as the youngest chairman ever. With his whole heart, he has been a great inspiration for us. Even in his condition, he still be writing books for the church with one finger. There's no other person than Apostle Dr. Michael Kavanagh to me. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. He has preserved his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He served for 39 years. May I respectfully ask that you bring a revered former chairman upstairs. He's almost here. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. as a minister to the memory of Chairman Safo to the memory of Chairman Eboa to the glory and honor of Apostle Professor Upoku Nina and to the honor of distinguished gratitude of our current chairman, Apostle Eric Namiche, to all ministers of the church, and to you all counselors, to the millions of the entire membership of the Church of Pentecost. Shall we continue to do it for him? I'll call the rest to join our revered chairman. Dear Lord, you have granted us grace to see what we have days of our fathers, looking back, considering what was once said about the church, that these people can only pray, nothing else they can do. And our father was often ridiculed as saying, if you are not opening schools, building hospitals, then what are you doing in the Gold Coast? Your servant replied, I'm preaching the gospel. I'm winning the lost. And one day, these people are going to build the schools, the universities. They are going to establish the hospitals. They are going to train people. 
And Father, we are witnesses. About 80 years now, we see, we behold, we count, and people have recognized. And so this afternoon, on behalf of the entire church, we come before you, O oh Lord, with our sacrifices of praise to say thank you, Lord, for surely this is not the doing of man. It is your doing. By the power of your right hand, Father, we thank you. Church of Pentecost says thank you. Amen. Our fathers, your gallant ministers, standing here before you, say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We do know, O oh God, that this is not the final stop. As we spear forth your word into the nations, as you covenanted with our church, that you're going to use the church as a spearhead to reach nations. We recognize, O oh God, that over 150 nations being penetrated by the church at this time. Oh Lord, we pray that the remaining 94, 54 countries will be given to us. And where we are, we will continue to impact and possess them for your glory. So continue to bless and lead our fathers, the chairman and his executive council. Continue to bless and equip the ministers, the missionaries, the area heads. Continue to bless and prosper the members of the church, the business people. So, oh God, you equip them and provide them with the finances that we can possess the rest of the word to your glory. We thank you, Father, for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.